All right then, gang, so we have now pretty much created this website. Everything works, the pages work, we can see all the different portfolio projects, we can see the details of each of these projects, etc. So the next step is to deploy this website to a host, and we're going to use Netlify to do that. First, though, we need to build our application for production. Now, to do that, we can run Gatsby Build. That's exactly what we're going to do. So let me cancel out of the current process and then run Gatsby Build build like so and this generates our build and it places all of the built files inside this public folder and this is eventually the folder that we're going to have to deploy to netlify so once this is done if we open this up we can see all of these different files we have a 404 page we have a folder for the about route and inside there an html file we have the projects we have a folder for each project and an HTML file for each project as well. So all of the built code is inside this public folder and that's the stuff we're going to deploy to Netlify. So then Netlify is a platform that we can easily deploy our websites to. You can sign up for a free account right here. I'm just going to log in because I already have an account and I'm going to log in with GitHub. So this will just take a second. And then what I'm going to do is just create a new site by dragging in my public folder to this area right here. So let me just grab that from over here. We have the web warrior folder. I'm going to take the public folder and drag it right here and it's going to upload this site. So once it's deployed, it's going to give you a success message and we should be able to then view this in a browser. And we can see right here now it's been published. So we get a URL for this project right here. I'm going to click on that and when we click on this, we should see it in a browser and everything should still work the same way. So that's it, my friends. That's how easy it is to deploy this static site to Netlify. Now, another option if you update your website frequently is to use something called continuous deployment. And that involves a Git workflow as well. So I'm going to show you how to set that up next.